guys, welcome back to my channel. How are you all doing? I hope you guys are doing as okay as you possibly can be given the current situation going on in our world right now. Hopefully you all are at least well feeling okay, like not sick wise. It's just such a crazy and sad time right now and I'd be totally lying if I said that it hasn't gotten to me. Um, I'm extra emotional I think because uh, I'm almost 31 weeks pregnant now, so emotions are pretty uh, all over the place. But it's just sad overall what's going on. It's scary, and it's almost just hard to believe that it's even happening. And I definitely have fallen down the rabbit hole of like watching the news too much and and letting my anxiety build up and um, yeah. I wanna say thank you to anyone and everyone that is on the front lines of this, whether you're in the medical field, whether you're doing deliveries, whether you're in the grocery stores, there's so many different kinds of jobs that are really needed right now and you're helping all the rest of us out and if you're staying home and doing what you're supposed to be doing by staying away from people, I also thank you for doing that because we all have to be in this together and work together to get through this. Hopefully we will get through this sooner than later, fingers crossed. So today's video, I actually filmed a couple weeks ago and like it was right as everything was starting to happen but it hadn't gotten super serious around here yet and then everything started getting serious and I hadn't edited and that's when I like fell down the rabbit hole and I thought about not even doing the video and editing the video but then I realized the biggest thing for me when I'm stressed out is I like to clean and decorate and organize. So I figure maybe some of you feel the same way. So I thought I would go ahead, edit this video together, and if nothing else, it can be a nice distraction for you for a little bit. So I hope you enjoy it cleaning and decorating for Easter along with me. Also in the video, I'm going to share some Dollar Tree Easter decorating ideas. If you bought some Easter stuff recently this year and you just haven't really put anything out yet, maybe some of the ways that I use some of the Easter Dollar Tree stuff will give you some ideas or inspiration for you to use yours. I know Easter is like right around the corner. Most of us can't even do anything for Easter, but your house can still be decorated a little bit to give you that festive feel. So at least that's what I'm telling myself. All right, let's get into the video. Oh, hello. Good morning. It is morning for me at this point in the video. And I don't know about you, but I cannot decorate my house for a holiday or a celebration unless my house feels like it's put together, like it's cleaned up, you know? And today I wanted to change out my bedroom sheets, my bed sheets. This is probably the chore that I hate to do the most or, uh, you know, top three. But the feeling of getting into the bed at night with a clean set of sheets is oh, it's just such an amazing feeling. It is one of the best feelings. So obviously it makes it worth it to go ahead and change those sheets, wash them, do all the things. Honestly, I would love to wash my sheets a few times a week, but realistically, I get it like once a week. How often do you guys change your sheets? Let me know in the comments below. It's gonna be okay, no matter come what may, I'm gonna set things straight tomorrow. I let my worries fade, let them sweep away, there'll be another day tomorrow. I keep repeating the same mistakes. Mm. I did them all before. 
cliche there's a million ways to mess things up and i need some time to figure out since i was already tackling the bedroom i figured now's the perfect time to go ahead and wipe and dust some things off in the room just so it felt extra nice and clean when i got into bed that night with my nice clean sheets it's gonna be okay no matter come what may i'm gonna sit in the street The other place in my house that I always have to have picked up is the kitchen. In order for me to continue throughout my day or decorate or do something different, if my kitchen is a mess, if I have dishes sitting around, it drives me insane. So today I needed to tackle cleaning up the dishes, washing some things, putting some dishes away, and I really needed to clean the sink out because it was pretty disgusting. So we're gonna tackle this before we start decorating for Easter. Dishes build up so quickly and there's only three of us in our house. I can't imagine families of five or six, how you do it, how in the world you do it. I constantly have stuff in the dishwasher, stuff in the sink, stuff drying in the other side of the sink. It's insane. But man, when everything is put away, that feeling is oh so nice. Lately, I've been using soft scrub to clean inside my sink. Let me know in the comments below what you like to use to clean inside your sink. I also just use this like rubbery um, Dollar Tree sponge, silicone I guess it would be. It works pretty well, but I'm curious to know though, what is your favorite method of cleaning inside your sink? What do you like to use as far as the cleaner goes? And do you use like a sponge or a brush or a rag? Let me know. I recently ordered um, off of Amazon. I wanted a, I was looking through my Easter decor and realized I have no Easter pillows. What? So I went on Amazon and I looked for an Easter pillow cover because I realized it's a lot cheaper to just buy pillow covers and I already have pillows that I can like change out and stuff. So I found a cute Easter pillow cover. Well, at least it looks cute. And the other thing I wanted to get was a table runner that I could use here for spring and summer. So I ordered both of those. Ooh, here is the little Easter. How do I get into this thing? Oh, that's cute. So here is the little pillow. It just has a little rabbit with the flowers. I think it was only $7.99. I'll link it in the description box below if you want to check it out. Um, super cute. Oh, I'm excited to put the little pillow in there and put it on my couch. Love that. Okay, and this table runner, I wanted something that was a little like boho-y. And there was one that I won that was like $27.99. And then I found another one. I think this one was $16.99. Similar. I kind of like the $27.99 one a little bit more. But since it was more expensive, I decided to go with the cheaper one. Ooh, I think this will be cute. Okay, let's check it out. I wanted to add a little bit of like warmth into 
the table and kind of play off of the curtain. Um, there's a little bit of this color. Now, here's the thing. I didn't measure my table. So this is really long for my table. Um, okay, well, son of a gun. I knew I should have measured my table. I might use this over here for this TV stand. So maybe use this runner over here and then that will be cute hanging down long. Ooh, I like that. That's cute. What do I do for the dining table? Dang it, dang it, dang. Hmm. The more expensive one that I saw said it was shorter. I'm I'll still link this one below if you guys are interested in it. Maybe you have a longer table. I think it's really cute. I love the fringe. And I think it looks really cute on there. And then I just remembered I have a little lace runner that I think I could maybe use on that table for now. All I know is currently I'm so tired and I just feel like I need a nap. <laughs> I'm exhausted. <sighs> Let's see what the bunny pillow looks like. I'm not the biggest fan of putting pillows in and out of pillow covers though, gotta be honest. Not my favorite part of the whole pillow cover thing. Are there any tips, tricks for doing this? I'm always so scared I'm gonna break the zipper, but if you do one that's too small, then it looks, you know, not fluffy. Could have fluffed it a little bit better in this corner. I'll work on that. But super cute. I really like that. It's nice and simple. I really, really like that. Oh, yay. And that's cute because it doesn't even necessarily have to be Easter. Obviously, like bunnies are Easter, but it's definitely very spring too, since it doesn't say happy Easter. Hello, it's the next day. Um, yeah, I didn't get a chance to finish decorating last night. Mommy duties took over and the fact that I became very much exhausted <laughs> took over as well. So back today, going to get this house decorated. I realized over in this pile of stuff, I forgot to grab the recent stuff I got from Dollar Tree. So going to add that to the pile. And um, oh, I never ended up putting a table runner down over the table. I'm gonna grab the lace table runner that I was going to potentially use. Okay, so here's all the Easter stuff. Don't have a real plan for all this. We're just gonna start placing this around and see what we come up with. I showed this in my last Dollar Tree haul, this little vase. I think I'm going to grab the other one out of my bathroom and then use this little greenery that I have that I got from Hobby Lobby last year and put this in my little shelves back there. I think that might be cute. Oh yeah. Kind of drapes off of the shelf a little bit. That is cute. Okay, so I'm finally putting out the little lace table runner. It's not even a table runner. I think it was an actual like little tablecloth I honestly don't know I've had it for years and years and I actually got it from a thrift store a long time ago and I used to use it as a photography prop back when I did photography like newborns and stuff so this has been around for a while and I've made use of it many a times and this time it's working for my spring summer table runner <laughs> When I saw this big plastic bunny at Dollar Tree, I knew I wanted to buy it and spray paint it and use it as a decoration. I saw in store how like not, um, what, what's the word? It, it wouldn't stay together very well, so it wouldn't have been very good to use as like um, something to put stuff in and hide around or use it as like actual Easter giving, you know what I'm saying? But I knew it could work as a little cute Easter decor piece. So I just took some gold spray paint that I already had and then I also spray painted one of Dollar Tree's little Easter wooden signs, the Happy Easter one I thought was so cute. And you'll see how I use them in just a second. In 
the meantime, I needed to clean out these little, I swear I made those little vases with the little candlestick on the bottom. I don't know, maybe five years ago, four years ago. And they've held up so well using both the Dollar Tree, the vase and the candlestick. It's so good. Another Dollar Tree go-to of mine, especially during the spring and summertime, is their moss. I love using their moss to decorate. It just gives that like spring summery feel. And I think it turned out so cute as the like the base in this little lantern with my little Easter decoration in it. There's the little happy Easter sign in gold. And I love the way that that Dollar Tree vase looks with some greenery in it. And then I added those little bunny picks. I wasn't sure if I was going to use the bunny picks. And then once I stuck them in the little greenery, I thought they turned out so cute. So I obviously on one shelf, I paired it with the happy Easter sign. And on the other shelf, I paired it with the little gold bunny. If I was being extra crafty, I could have done some more sprucing up of that bunny, but just being plain gold, I thought he still turned out real cute. Here I am using that Dollar Tree moss again. Like I said, it's so cute as a little base for any kind of decoration that you wanna do. I took some more of Dollar Tree's vases and added some of the Dollar Tree like speckled eggs into the vases. It's such an easy way to add some spring and Easter decor in a very cost effective way. Okay, I know every time I'm on a ladder and I've been pregnant, there have been multiple comments saying to be careful, I'm making you nervous, I promise. I'm very careful on this little ladder. I just need a cute banner hung, okay? <laughs> These little Easter baskets from Dollar Tree are probably my favorite Easter thing that Dollar Tree sells. They've had them for a couple years. I think they're so cute. They just look so much cuter than just like a dollar. And I think it's so cute if you put a little plant inside, but obviously there's lots of different things that you could do with this cute little basket. Okay, so it's time to decorate the coffee bar. And I decided that I wanted to use the little carrots. Where are they? These little Dollar Tree carrots in my coffee bar area. I have some from last year and then I bought some more this year if you saw my last Dollar Tree haul. And I also picked up this happy Easter sign. I thought this Easter sign was so cute. So I just took this boxwood wreath that I already had and I forgot to do it on camera, but I just took a piece of twine 
and you know how their their signs already usually have a piece of twine attached to it well i wrapped my piece of twine around that and around the wreath and just hooked it on like that i know there's other ways that you could attach it i was looking for my floral wire i couldn't find it so i figured i would just do this i obviously didn't want to like glue it on there or anything because i reuse this wreath all the time and i think that looks cute like that so we're going to use this in the coffee bar and then to kind of go along with that whole carrot vibe, I have this sign. I think Dollar Tree had it again this year. I'm not sure, but I know I got it at Dollar Tree maybe last year or the year before that. And I think it's super cute. So I'm going to utilize that in there. And then this little moss looking covered bunny. I have no idea where I got him. I got him a long time ago, but I've always loved him. So I feel like this little guy will go with the whole vibe of the coffee bar. And uh, yeah, so let's just start decorating it, shall we? Sorry the lighting is absolutely awful right here. I didn't realize it looked so bad, um, but it's the only footage I have of decorating my coffee bar, so I'm sorry, we're just gonna have to deal with it, unfortunately. So here I am adding the little carrots. Inside that jar, I also am using Dollar Tree's moss rocks. I love these moss rocks. I use them all the time in spring and summer decor as well. And I think they looked really cute in the little jar with the carrots. And then when it's not Easter, I think the moss rocks are just super cute on their own. So there is the coffee bar in a little bit better of lighting. I also added those big eggs. Those were originally from Dollar Tree. I spray painted them white, but you can still kind of see the yellow through it, but it works for the little coffee bar area, I think. I was tempted to put candy inside this little dish, but I decided, nope, I'm just gonna put some fake eggs in there for now because I will end up eating all that candy. I need to invest in some new Easter towels, but these are the ones I had on hand, so they'll work for this year. I also took some of Dollar Tree's little floral that have the eggs with it. I don't think, I'm not sure if they had them this year. I, this is from last year. And then I took some of their gold egg picks and then just stuck it in that little vase. I didn't do too much Easter on that little table, just enough. I was debating where I wanted to hang this happy Easter banner. I've had this for quite some time and I just absolutely love it. I think it's so adorable and I never usually hang a banner in this area. This is where I do all of my work and where I'm sitting at currently as I'm doing this voiceover. And I have to say, I absolutely love it here. It puts a smile on my face every time I walk by it or I sit down at my desk. So I'm a big fan of this little happy Easter banner right here. I have stuck this same Easter egg in this plant for I think maybe the past three years and I think it's cute every single time.
I thought the little Happy Easter Dollar Tree sign was cute, but I wanted to add a little bit something more to it to make it a little bit longer. So I combined it with a wreath that I already had that had the same kind of colors in it, and I think it turned out really cute that way. And my last little Easter touch is this little Easter light that I think is so cute. My office totally feels nice and Eastery, and I love it. that's it for this Easter clean and decorate with me. I hope you guys enjoyed it. If you did, make sure to give it a thumbs up. And if you're new, I would love to have you subscribe. Next week, I'm going to have a, it's already filmed. I just have to edit it. I'm not going to take forever to edit this one. Um, I, well, myself and my daughter reorganized, decluttered all of the drawers in this house and it felt so good. And uh, yeah, so if you're needing that uh, organization, cleaning kind of uh, motivation, that video is coming for you, so stay tuned. And I have some other fun little things to share with you guys coming up as well. So anyways, that's it for now. Thanks so much for watching. I hope you all stay well, stay healthy, stay clean, and I will see you in my next video. Bye.